This is the new Rode Video Mic Go 2, Rode's newest addition to the Video Mic lineup. Like a lot of us, the original Video Mic was my first on-camera shotgun microphone. It's the microphone that introduced me to the importance of having better audio rather than just using the onboard microphone on your camera. And it was released way back in 2004, which seems like 100 years ago at this point. Right now you're listening to the Rode NTG5, which is, this is an XLR mic, which I have running into my Sony FX3 right now and it sounds great. Now Rode has a huge lineup of shotgun mics to choose from. My preference usually for a bigger full frame setup like my Sony FX3 when I'm on the go is the Rode Video Mic NTG. And when I'm shooting on smaller cameras like my Sony ZV-1 or even my GoPro Hero 10, I usually bust out the legendary Rode Video Micro. This thing has been around for a while and it's still one of the most popular onboard shotgun microphones that you could find. But after using the new Rode Video Mic Go 2, I think that this is probably going to be replacing the old Micro in a lot of situations for me. This looks like somebody over at Rode doesn't know how to do laundry correctly, just like my mommy, and toss the Rode Video Mic NTG into the dryer when you're clearly supposed to be hang drying it and then shrunk it down to this little powerful beast of a microphone and then acted like they did it on purpose and then probably got some kind of raise and promotion out of it. Congratulations. All right, let's go over what this little guy brings to the table. Number one, it's tiny and lightweight and I think that this is probably going to eventually become the new standard much like the micro was for vloggers that want something small and lightweight but sounds great on top of their camera. There's no battery, there's no charging, you just plug it in and you go. So one less thing to worry about when you're preparing to shoot. You have your traditional 3.5 mil TRS output, which is used to connect to your camera. And on the other side, you have your USB-C output, which is used to connect to your smartphone, your computer, your laptop. You could do things like podcasts with it, voiceovers, pretty great. As for what comes in a box, which I absolutely demolished when opening this, you get your microphone, of course, you get your microphone shock mount, which is great because it takes on a lot of the same characteristics that the Rode VideoMic NTG has to where you can loosen and tighten it and then slide the mount back and forth. So let's say you might have a super wide angle lens, like a 12 mil or something like that. And maybe some of the microphone is showing over the top because your lens is so wide. Well, then you could slide this back away from the lens itself and chances are you'll get it out of your shot or vice versa. If you're out vlogging, you want to get that microphone as close to your mouth as humanly possible to get cleaner audio. You can just slide it forward and give yourself an extra few inches. Everybody loves a few extra inches. And we get a foam windshield. And Rode also has a furry windshield coming out, which should be here any day that will protect your microphone from really strong wind noises. But in the testing that I've done with this microphone and just this foam windshield, it's handled wind noise pretty well. I haven't had any complaints or noticed anything that distracted me from the video. All right, let's connect the video mic go to and see what it sounds like. You'll never find as long as you live someone who loves you tender like i do <laughs> that sound as you can hear from the sound quality of this little microphone it sounds pretty great i'm not eqing this audio at all i haven't added any type of effects what you're hearing is straight off of this microphone the shock mount on the video mic go 2 works great i haven't heard any type of rattling noise or any type of movement noise when i'm out vlogging with it works really well all right let's quickly and i mean quickly head outside because it's like 10 degrees out today is one of the coldest days of the year and of course this is when i'm choosing to go do a vlogging test with a new microphone all right microphone check one two this is the road video mic go two what do you guys think it's a little windy out here you guys hear any type of wind rumbling any type of wind noise I'm sure if it was like super windy out, you'd probably hear something. These foams, they just do a good job with like moderate wind noise. But when it comes to really windy situations, you're probably gonna need one of those furry windshields, which should be coming in any day now. So maybe we'll compare the Video Mic O2 against the Micro and the Video Mic NTG. Oh my God. This is like torture doing these video tests in the middle of the winter. The ground is like solid frozen ice. Thank God they plowed around here and Seems like they salted too. I fell, I fell the other day walking my dogs. That was not fun. I should have sued my landlord. 
I should have. Maybe I should still. Now I have this mounted on top of the Sony a7 IV, which is a fairly heavy camera. And I'll tell you the truth, you barely even feel it up there. It's so lightweight and so small. It's not as small as the micro is, but it's a nice medium. It's a nice size in between the micro and the video mic NTG. I'm a big fan. To me, this is probably about the perfect size shotgun mic, especially when you're out vlogging and you want to keep your setup small. All right, I'm going back inside now because my hands are freezing. I'm going to drop this camera because I can't feel them anymore. So there you have it. The new Rode Video Mic Go 2. I think it's an absolute win especially for vloggers, anybody that wants to have a smaller, lighter setup with great quality on top of their camera and not be this big, huge, bulky mic at all times. This is, uh, I think this is gonna be the new industry standard for the foreseeable future. Great job, Rode. I'll leave links in the description once they become available for me. The price for the Video Mic Go 2 is $99. It's a pretty good, it's a pretty good deal for what you're getting here for all the versatility that this mic brings to the table and a lot of the headaches that this mic eliminates. Yeah, it's a good pickup. Don't forget, Tees and Lutz are still on sale. Link in the description, 50% off if you wanna check them out. And there's a link to the Patreon down below if you wanna help support the channel. And thank you to all my current Patreons. You guys already know I love you. More videos coming up soon on the Rode Video Mic O2, so make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later, yeah! <laughs>